Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I just flew into Arizona and I called up my friend Buzz. Buzz, good to see you. Welcome to Arizona, Lou. And in Arizona, the reason why I stopped by Buzz's house first, well, you'll see why. He's got a great car. So with that being said, Buzz, I've been looking forward to seeing your car and here it is. So what do you have here today, Buzz? This is my 1959 uh, Edsel Corsair okay. uh, convertible. It was uh, the top of the line Edsel back in 59. And why an Edsel out of all the cars in the world out there? What what well, what made you say, you know what, I think I need an Edsel? I like the, uh, the orphan cars, the oddball cars, the cars you don't see at every cruise night. And uh, um, just got it in my head that I wanted an owned Edsel. And uh, joined the club and uh, uh, through the club I found this one available from a member in uh, Nebraska. And... Uh, Bought it sight unseen, had it shipped down here, and uh, been enjoying it for the last six years. A couple of things right off the yeah. bat, the fender, the antenna and the fender, really way up the fender. I mean, we're going to take a walk back, and you were sharing that the fender ornaments were called bullseyes? Gun sights. Gun sights, yes. that's it. <laughs> Gun sights. So let me take an overall look at the car. We've got the sun hitting it just right, so you can enjoy that. I'm gonna kind of get you there. Just let that sit in for a moment. Now, as you can see, well up the fender is the antenna. And the interesting thing too, now this is the Corsair you were sharing. What's the difference? There's two levels. The Ranger was the uh, other uh, Edsel model in 59. Uh, that was the, uh, the base model. Uh, then the fancier one uh, with uh, more trim and fancier interior and some extra uh, standard options uh, uh, was the Corsair. And that's what we have here, obviously right. the convertible. Let me show you one thing yeah. that's uh, very unique to uh, the 59 Edsel. Is yeah. I can't think of any other car that has uh, the name of the car crossing over between the door and the front quarter. Right. That is so unusual. Uh, it had to be a real pain for the uh, assembly people to uh, make, get all those letters uh, perfectly straight and it's equal you, distance. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. rarely on the door, usually on the fender. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And even like, uh, we've got some pretty good sun hitting that so you could see the, the light yeah, kind of coming the, through uh, there. Optional uh, Edsel uh, spinner uh, wheel covers. The optional Edsel spinner covers. Mm -hmm. Tell me what this is right here, this little... These are called wind wings. Uh, this is an aftermarket option. Uh, yeah. They were popular back in the 50s. Uh, um, allegedly, they kept the wind from whipping around into your face uh, as okay. you're driving down the road. Not sure if they really do that, but I think they look cool, so I like them. And they look good on the red car, no uh -huh. doubt about that. And let me walk around this way for a moment. One of the, one of the things with the Edsel was obviously the, the grill here. He said it made the car look like it was sucking a lemon. Yeah, it was called the horse collar grill. And, uh, the horse collar grill. Uh, it was uh, very controversial. Uh, some people liked it, uh, most people didn't. <laughs> but, you know, nowadays the grills on cars are so ugly, I, I think this is really attractive. And, and again, it, it, it gets better with age. I mean, if people didn't like it then, now it's, it's turning everybody's head when we drove it over here, that's for sure. Well, one of one of the edicts, how do you, how do you, uh, you're a big guy. Can you get your hand actually to that mirror, or is, it, is there a toggle inside the car? Uh, no, you have to have long arms. <laughs> so okay, this is and good. Open the good door car a little bit you. to reach out to adjust the mirror. <laughs> okay, all right, got it. And you were sharing that the Corsair has the inserts here. I want to show people the back. Interesting too with the exhaust, as you'll see here. Is the yeah, I have chrome, chrome extensions on it. Uh, but the Edsel dual exhaust uh, uh, did come out to the corners of the uh, car. And in 59, it's got a little bit of the tail wings to it. I really like the uh, tail lights on the car. It kind of looks like, uh, like a spaceship or a robot or something like that. It's very space age looking, which is, was popular back in the 50s. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a better look at the back end of the car because we're going to drive it besides just hear it and then we'll put the sun in the back of the car. Let's take a look at the interior. You know what, I might do the interior when we're going the other way too because the sun will be in the interior. Let's let's pop the hood for a moment. Okay. 
Because the hood, we've got the sun right on it. Oh yeah, that looks good. This is a uh, 361. Uh, it was built uh, exclusively for uh, for Etzel. Um, it's uh, rated at 303 horsepower, which was pretty good for uh, yeah. 360 cubic inch back in the day. And uh, it's quite powerful. Well, let's start it up. Let's 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 hear it. California car, yeah. and this was their uh, pollution control system back in 1959. They had a breather tube that went from the uh, valve cover to the air cleaner to recirculate some of the uh, exhaust uh, exhaust fumes back into the uh, carburetor. Let's, uh, let's take this one for a ride. Buzz, I'm going to grab the uh, door here. Give me one second. I'm going to actually have you hold that for a minute. You can show the dashboard for a second. This is aftermarket air that uh, I added a couple years ago. It gets a little bit toasty here in the Arizona desert with a black and red interior and a black convertible top. All right, I'll grab that as usual. Thanks for grabbing the sticker right in the 59 head. So and again, I'll do a little more detail when we stop on the interior. Let's just enjoy this. So how do you feel when you're driving this? Well, <laughs> you get a lot of uh, comments and waves and whistles and thumbs up. Uh, a lot of people and a lot of bewildered faces too, because a lot of people don't have any idea what it is. Yeah. And people that do know that it's an Enzo are like, oh my God, I haven't seen one of them in 40 years. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of fun. No doubt. sun in the interior there. Obviously a factory piece with the E in the center of it. In the, in the uh, air conditioning. 
Actually, that's aftermarket. Oh, is it aftermarket? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, I was able to find an old Edsel emblem. I put that on there and so to make it look uh, original, but uh, I found the most retro-looking uh, unit I could find and uh, kind of fits real well. Now, you said the 58s had the push button. Um, yeah, the 58s had the push button right in the steering wheel hub. And uh, it was an electronic push button. Uh, and uh, they had a lot of trouble with the uh, connect connectors uh, mm -hmm. on it, uh, especially under the car in the transmission. Uh, they would get damp uh, from the rain on the getting splashed on them, and uh, they would malfunction. Uh, it was one of the big wraps on the 58 Edsels. People had a lot of trouble with that. It's called Teletouch, and that's why it only lasted one year. 59, they dropped that and went to a traditional uh, gear shift lever. <laughs> the Teletouch. <laughs> Interesting how everything's got a little name to it. Right. Yeah, this has the uh, optional uh, three-speed automatic transmission. Uh, the standard transmission was a, a two-speed, and uh, this has the biggest engine in '59, the 361. Mm -hmm. uh, standard would have been uh, uh, 292, um, or you could have also gotten a 332, and then the top of the line was a 361. Pick up. It's got that little unused gas smell too to it, you know what I mean? Yes. It's like, we didn't burn everything on that. <laughs> but it's a real treat to be in a 59 head sole. We have a pretty good uh, Edson. There's actually three nationwide Edsel clubs, believe it or not, and uh, uh, we have a fairly strong chapter down here in the Phoenix area. We get together monthly and have uh, put on a, a show or two every year. Yeah. There's that E right in the center of the dash there, so you know. There's E's everywhere. There's E's in the gun sights. Uh, uh, there's E's in the, uh, uh, on the side of the uh, moldings, uh, the stainless steel moldings, and uh, a little E right here in the middle of the yeah, dashboard. Yeah, featuring that. Yeah. Everyone should cruise around on that so for a little while. <laughs> no doubt. They do draw a crowd at the uh, cruise nights and car shows because uh, you know, there's a lot of nice cars come to the cruise nights out here. But uh, if you're lucky to see one Edsel, maybe. Uh, I see it's got the power windows here as the options. Yeah, we've got uh, pretty much full power. We've got uh, power windows, power seats. Power steering, power brakes, power top, um, virtually all the power options you could get. you down, you know you 
come back and take a nice cruise on a sunny day. It's a little bit chilly today, that's why we haven't uh, dropped the top and we're, we're going to another car show tonight. It's going to get very chilly once the sun goes down, so yeah. we're leaving the top up today. We'll pull the top down another time. Nice car on the highway. It'll it'll cruise 70, 75, or, or probably go a lot faster than that. But uh, um, it keeps up with uh, traffic nowadays. And, uh, rides smooth. Uh, keeps a straight line. Wouldn't be good, a good car in a Gymkhana because uh, <laughs> handling is uh, theoretical, basically. All right. Uh, Got to plan ahead when you want to make a turn. <laughs> Plan ahead to make the turn. Awesome. I want to make sure I get a good sunny shot of the back of the car. And we'll get us hopefully the sun inside on the, the dash on that side and we'll go from there. When I bought the car it had been uh, restored as needed. Not a total complete frame off bumper to bumper restoration but yeah. uh, restored as needed the uh, uh, paint was of course done I don't know what kind of body work might have been done before the paint was uh, applied um, the top is a new uh, hearts top it's the canvas style top which wouldn't have been available uh, back in 59 from uh, Edsel uh, the interior is original uh, carpeting is original Virtually everything is original other than uh, the fact that uh, it had a, uh, a paint job and a new top. The color of the car? It's called President Red. President Red. Let me hop out. I'm going to take a look at the interior. Actually, there's a beautiful shot of the door. Open that. like so, inviting you in, as well as the word Edsel. Here's the back I wanted to see. You know, let me shut this door. I want to give it the proper look on this side. Is that a lightning strip buzz that I see down there? That's actually a static strip. A static um, strip. They were popular back uh, in the 50s and 60s, and uh, what they do is they help disperse the uh, static electricity that builds up on the tires and on the car. And uh, I find that uh, it helps keep uh, dust from building up on the car. Because, really? Uh, we have a lot of dust out here in the uh, the static electricity that builds up when you're driving just acts like a magnet. The car gets dusty very quickly, and static strips help to dissipate that. A good tip for those who need to know that. Did not know that. The car was built in uh, the Ford plant in Louisville, Kentucky. All the 59 Edsels were built in the same plant. The Edsel key ring. That is great. Okay. Buzz, let's shut the door there. Come on back around. Stand right next to her. Buzz, always fun seeing you. Thanks so much for being on my car story and thanks for having such great cars. Thanks for coming out, Lou.